The latest report by Microsoft Consulting indicates that Kenya has about 5.04 million business owners, out of which 60% deal with wholesale and retail trade, including repairs, 12% in agriculture, forestry and fishing, 10% in services, 8% in manufacturing. However, open-air female traders at border points experience various challenges. Uh, some of the challenges uh, is lack of market, adequate market, because they depend mostly on tourists. And then lack of skills to make the products, because it's a craft, so it needs a bit of skill to learn. So they, they, they don't have enough uh, skills to do that. And then in terms of capital, uh, whenever they get a large order, uh, capital is a challenge. And then lack of information, and this one ties to business advisory. Payment risks. I mean, you deliver, but you're not paid or you're told you'll be paid after 30 days or whatever it is, that is a key problem. Then there's the Shylocks, and, and I'm not going to even go down that road because I know you've heard about it and a lot of other issues that come along with it. Access to finance, yes, it is an issue. The growth of small women traders face challenges such as financial management. For part of this thing, I want to just put it into three things. Number one is digitization. Ningumu ni kusaidia kama sikuelewi. Kama namna gani? Lakini tukielewana itakuwa rahisi tusaidiane. Ni kama ile duka yako kama hujai niona na nataka unikopeshe, utanikopesha kweli? Utasema huyu jamaa hata sijui sijai muona. Digital financial services has been found to be a low hanging fruit with the traders urged to responsibly tap into avenues like digital lending applications for ease of access of capital. We are not giving the amount required. So I need 10,000 shillings, I get 2,000. I need 100,000 shillings, I, I am not, no one will give me 100,000 shillings off the bat. And there's a word and phrase she used in Swahili that um, I really liked, which is, we will share the profit with them, right? And so it is approaching business with the informal trader as a partner to their business rather than a financial solutions provider or a loan provider. Currently, women-led traders operate at a smaller scale in less profitable business value chains than their male counterparts, with 29% of female traders having employees as opposed to 36% of male traders. Alan Oko, Lunchtime News.